So what is emotional incest? It is when a parent or a guardian or a caregiver either A, turns to a child to give them emotional support that should be received from an adult, or B, begins placing emotional expectations on the child that should only be expected of an adult. I see many parents posting on FB and saying things about their children like, this is my heartbeat, this is my one and only. While that may sound nice, I may get heart heartbeats and you know love hearts and all, all that, what you're doing to that child emotionally is you are breaking them. This is a child who's not going to be able, who's going to, sorry, this is a child who's going to struggle with putting boundaries at the right place. This is a child who is going to be robbed of the entire childhood and what development they should be. Remember, this is what the Bible says. It says, train up a child in the way he should go. Other version says, in the way he should grow. And when he is older, he will not depart from it. So this whole business of making an adult or holding adult expectations on your child is not biblical. The Bible gives a picture of you teaching and helping your child grow. And this has a connotation of age appropriateness. When you read Deuteronomy 6 from verse 4, which says, here, O Israel, the Lord our God is one, and these words shall be in your hearts as the parents, and then you shall teach them diligently to your children. You shall sit when you walk, we shall sit when you lie down, you shall put them as signs on your hands, you shall put them as signs on the, as frontlets before your eyes, you shall paint them on your doors. So the idea was the knowledge and the whole maturity process was meant to be gradual, it was meant to be creative. And God expected that in that relationship, the parent should be the adult and the child should be a child, but taught to be able to grow. What emotional incest does is it bypasses that entire childhood bit and what it is meant to achieve and begins placing adult responsibilities upon a child.